This past weekend recognized a day to honor and remember workers who've been killed, injured, or suffered an illness resulting from work-related incidents. Each year on April the 28th, people across Canada and around the globe stop to remember these workers. On Monday afternoon, a special ceremony was held at Mountain View Cemetery in Lethbridge where several wreaths were laid. Roses were also dispersed by first responders, officials with the City of Lethbridge, the Chamber of Commerce, along with the provincial government and the Canadian Union of Public Employees. In the past year, 165 workers were killed across Canada, including one occupational related illness fatality here in Lethbridge. March. A day to reflect on our current health and safety practices and how we could improve on them and ensure that our workers are protected and they return home safely at the end of the day, which is all we would like. Uh, especially for those uh, workers that are not part of a union that don't have a union to back them up if they bring those concerns up to their employers. They have to make the decision whether they're going to carry out the unsafe task or bring something up and they could lose their job and their source of income. It is a sad day and it's a huge, it's a huge initiative on behalf of the families right across Canada for people that have passed away from workplace uh, tragedies. Um, so it's a good reminder every year and uh, that, you know, it's uh, all of these fatalities have real consequences, long term consequences for the families. The National Day of Mourning was officially recognized by the Canadian government back in 1991 and has spread to about 80 countries around the world.